Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. Now we need to download and install Kali Linux. So what is Kali Linux and why we need to do a lab for Kali Linux? So that's uh, because we need to make the attack, as I said, the, the DNS spoofing attack. So it's type of man in the middle attack. To be able to show you that uh, once you run uh, this type of attack, then, or not you, but once an attacker run this type of attack, then uh, you will have problem on your network. So the whole idea is that I just want to show you how the attack will happen. Now, not just to show you how you can do the attacks, but just to show you how you can protect yourself from these types of attacks. So as you can see here, we have a lab of six points. But before I start doing this uh, lab, let's uh, show you what we need to do in the lab scenario. Then we come back and uh, we will do those points. So we already know that this computer over here is connected to the internet and I showed you all what we have done in the previous lab. Now, in uh, this lab, what I want to do is to add a Kali Linux machine. So let's imagine that, for example, you go to a cafe and you are connected to the internet. So if someone is also connected to the internet on the same network as you, he can run the Kali Linux machine and he can do man in the middle attack. That means in case, for example, you say, I want to go to google.com. So instead of going this to the router and going to google.com like this, then this guy over here, the bad guy, he will then he will, this will be sent to him because he's now a man in the middle. Then in this case, he can send for you some fake pages. He can send for you some uh, uh, updates to be installed. He will send for you some type of malware. So he can do really a lot of things for you. All right. So that's because he is having what we call DNS spoofing. So the, I will explain to about it later, but just as an idea now, so why you need to do the Kali Linux? Because on the Kali Linux, you can run these types of attacks. So Kali Linux is an operating system that where you can uh, run a lot of uh, attacks. Normally, Kali Linux is used for uh, ethical hackers who really want to or to have the authorization to hack a network to be able to see where are the vulnerabilities on this network to be able to close them. But also there are real attackers also use the Kali Linux to be able to run their attacks. So for us, we are going to do this attack just to show you how this attack happened, but then to show you how you can cover these attacks to be able to not be affected by those attacks. And that's what the DOH, the DNS over HTTPS can do for us. So in this lab, what we are going to do now is just I want to because I don't want to put two machines. So on the same computer, this computer, this one where I have a Windows. So I will also have a virtual box installed to be able to make for me the virtualization Then I can have, for example, two operating system. One, it is the Microsoft Windows that I'm running on this computer. And the second one is Kali Linux. So you have to think we have this scenario like this, like one Kali Linux, which is connected to the network, and we have the one PC to the network. But instead of putting two computers like this uh, to run the, the lab, then I'm going to use virtual box. So we can virtually make uh, or emulate that we do have a computer connected to the network as uh, Kali Linux. And uh, then we will run the attack from this Kali Linux. Then you have to think always that we uh, have this scenario like a Kali Linux connected to the network and is running the attack. Okay. So that's what we need to do. We have to install Kali Linux. We have to put it on uh, the virtual box and we have to make the emulation to be shown up like it is on the same network as my Microsoft uh, Windows PC. And then I'm going to show you how you can uh, gain access to the root, which is the administrator on Linux in order to be able to do the whole configuration on Kali Linux later. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go back now to the points and start doing that. Point number one, download Kali Linux for virtual box. So Kali Linux is an operating system, as I said, you can download it as an operating system and put it on a normal machine, but also you can download an image and uh, for virtual box or for VMware. All right. So uh, to do that, we have to go to the browser and over here we can go to google.com, for example. And from here, we can just say download Kali Linux for VirtualBox. All right, so uh, this is what uh, we have here. Now uh, we go to this one, Kali Linux download. 
we go down here we, we see that uh, we do have here the uh, images but what is important for me is the one for the virtual box because I'm using virtual box so actually what is virtual box also if you want you can just go here and write if you, in case you don't have it virtual box download so it's also for free you can just go to here and uh, download the uh, virtual box which is for windows i'm using windows in case you are us using uh, linux you can download linux in case you're using other type of uh, like a mac you can also download this the one for the mac so just click on it and then next 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 then you have the virtual box installed on your computer now we go back to here we need to get uh, the one for virtual box which is uh, 64 bit that's my computer and they say it's available on this website so we click on it and uh, then from here we have to get it this is for the virtual box this one you click on it and it's something like three point something gigabyte all right so with the win time i have already downloaded so do not wait uh, too long i have already downloaded and it is over there so let me just put it in front of you so this is kali linux you can see it is for virtual box and you can see the size if we go to the size that's 3.23 gigabyte. Depending on your internet connection, if you have fast connection, you can get it very fast. If you have slow, then it will take time to be downloaded. Point number one is done. Point number two. Now we need to double click on the downloaded file for the Kali Linux, then go to settings network and select the bridge adapter with the PC network card. So let's do that. Of course, I do have now the virtual box already on my computer. So you need to have it already installed on your computer. Now we double click on Kali Linux. So uh, you can see that we have received this uh, here, you, uh, the prompt uh, windows. Then uh, what you need to do is just to say here, import and you agree. And then it's gonna be importing this to the virtual box. And uh, this will take some time. So we have to wait until it is finished and then we will see what we need to do uh, later. So now it is already imported. You can see it, it's showing up over here, Kali Linux 2020. So that's what I want. Now they said here on the second part of this point, then we have to go to settings and network and select bridge adapter with the PC. So what does it mean here? If I go back to the picture and I want to show you here that the idea is that I want uh, this Kali Linux to be shown up like it is connected to my network. So what does it mean connected to my network? That means that it will receive from this router, the DHCP server, uh, IP address, and uh, it can go to the internet and so forth. So same as this computer, because it should be on the same network with this computer to be able to run the attack. So what I need to do, because I'm running this uh, Kali Linux machine on a virtual box, then what I need to do here, I have to say, that uh, to make a bridge with the interface card of this PC. So bridge means it is like connected to the switch. So we can have this scenario, like if the Kali Linux is connected to the switch and then uh, it is on the same network with uh, this PC. So that's what we need to do. So how to do that? We have to go to the Kali Linux again. And uh, over here, we have to go to uh, settings. And from settings, we have to go to network. And over network here, we have here the enable network adapter. We have to look to the bridge adapter. So it's making bridging. Bridging means layer two. So it's like connected to the switch. So bridge uh, uh, adapter with which interface on this computer. So the interface that I have on this computer, which is uh, the one running, if you want, I can show it to you fastly. So if we go here to uh, the network and sharing center, and uh, from here, I will open for you this one. You see that my network card is this one. And this one is called Mar from Marvel Yukon. So the same one is the one that I need to select it here. Marvel Yukon, this one. So I'm saying for uh, this uh, Kali Linux to be able to do bridging, so it's network card to be bridged with this adapter. That means it is like connected to the same switch. And then I will say here, okay. So that's what I need to do. Point number two is done. Point number three, start Kali Linux with username Kali and password Kali. So let's start now Kali Linux. We go to here and then I just need to click on it and then I will say start. So now we have to wait and uh, here we go. You see that Kali Linux has started now. So uh, we have to wait it until it is loaded. So you can see it's like an operating system. Actually, it is an operating system. 
So it's just an operating system running now the uh, software so uh, we can uh, later do the attack that we want to do. So now we are on Kali Linux. We have to say here username Kali. That is the default one. Kali, Kali, all small letters. And then I click on enter. And here we go. You see that Kali Linux now is running. And uh, yeah, that is the operating system that I need to run. Port number three is done. Port number four, open the terminal and write uh, sudo su then put the password as Kali. So now what I need to do, if I go to Kali Linux here, and uh, of course this is a Linux, so uh, in case you don't have knowledge of how to run comments on Linux, then I will show you the comments that you need. But uh, if we go to the terminal, for example, so this is the terminal, let's make it big. So I just make it a bit bigger so you can see more the command line. So if I say now I have config, you see that uh, I'm not on uh, the administrator level. So the username Kali and Kali, that is the default one, is not the administrator level. So what I want to do now, I just want to go to the administrator level or what we call it on Linux, the root level. So to do that, that's what I said for you here, that you have to uh, open the terminal and write sudo su, then put the password as Kali. So we have to say here sudo and then su, then it will ask for you for the password. The password is Kali. You can just write it. It doesn't show. So that's fine. I just uh, write Kali. So now we are on the root level. Now we need to change the uh, root uh, password. We have to put the password that we want. Point number four is done. Point number five. Then write the comment password root and change the root password and that will enter the password that you wish. So we have to write this comment, which is password root. P-A-S-S-W-D and then root. So they say, okay, what is the password that you want to put for root? Let's do it uh, uh, the way around. So it's root and we make it now tour, T-O-O-R. This is the new password, T-O-O-R. So now I have the root password. That means now what if I just reboot my uh, uh, Kali Linux machine and then I go to username uh, root and password tour, then I am able to go to the root uh, uh, level. So let's do that. Let's go here. And then from here, I will say, restart and uh, let's wait for this to be restarted then i will log in into my root account port number five is done port number six restart kali linux and use the root username and password is it working so let's see if uh, we have already restarted so now if we go to root and password tour enter so we see now we are able to go to the uh, root uh, level and now if I go to the terminal and uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. So from the terminal now, if I say I have config to see which interfaces I have here. And here we go. We see I have now this network interface, which is Ethernet zero. It has received an IP of 10.12.12.253. something that's from the DHCP server from the Microtech router. So that means my computer now is same or the virtual uh, machine here, the Kalinux is the same as my computer. So that means if I ping now to 8.8.8.8, we see that I'm able to go from the Kali Linux machine to the internet. But uh, let's do something nice. Uh, let's check what is the IP on my computer. So if I go to IP config, we check uh, the IP here is 10.12.12.254, and this one is 10.12.12.253. So let's ping to 10.12.12.254 and here we go. You see that my Kali Linux machine is able now to ping my PC as they are on the same network. So now we have a virtual network and that the Kali machine is running on, but it looks really like there is a Kali Linux machine which is installed on the network and this Kali Linux machine want to do some type of attack against my computer and that's how it works. All right, so we have accomplished the mission that uh, we have uh, done all the configuration and uh, the settings needed on the Kali uh, Linux machine to run the way we want. Point number six is done. And uh, with this point, I have just showed you how you can install and uh, of course download and install the Kali Linux machine on the virtual box, how you can do the bridge network. So they are the computer and the Kali Linux on the same network. And then we see also how we can change 
the root uh, password so the, those uh, settings for the root password the command lines i'm going to leave them for you so you can also copy and paste them and uh, the password will be changed for you and at the end we have seen that uh, the kali linux machine could uh, get an ip address from the router and also could go to the internet and also ping to uh, my computer so this is what i wanted to show you in this lecture i hope it was informative for you and i'll see you in the upcoming lecture